Hey, oh, happy Friday! Hope you're having a great Friday today and that the rest of your Friday is great too because you are amazing. Driving to work this morning and I'm feeling grateful and thankful and, and, and I'm, think, I'm feeling thankful for the blue sky that I see today and that's going to be sunny and 70. I'm thankful for people that see me and that I see them and they'll smile and wave and have a chit chat. Uh, I'm thankful for a whole host of things. Um, and I was just driving and thinking about how, um, what a great place it is to be as you start your day to think about the things that you're you're thankful for. Because there'll be some things that come along <laughs> during the day today. You're like, meh, not thankful for that. Uh, but <laughs> as long as we don't let those things that we're we're not thankful for, the things that just frankly stink, uh, to outweigh the, the things that we're thankful for, because there are a lot of them. But but sometimes we forget to be purposefully thoughtful of them. Um, but as long as those two, the, the, the bad doesn't outweigh the good, then the today, then each day is a pretty good day. Uh, and I got thinking about another thing that I'm thankful for is the ability to connect with people. Uh, and yesterday I was watching, it was the senior, senior game, the girl senior game at Scotia. And I went to, uh, cheer Micah's girlfriend, Isabella, uh, as she played her, her senior night game. And, and um, I was there cheering and watching and, and I was talking to, to some people and, um, and in the course of talking to people, each one of them was sharing bits and pieces of their life and uh, things that they were glad about and things that they were concerned about. Uh, and, and, and it was nice to, to be able to just stand there and listen to them share mainly some of them, their concerns about life and well, the way things are going and, and college choices and kids and just all these different things. Um, and to, to be in a position to be a listening ear and not have to feel like I am the solver of the their situation. I don't have to solve their situation, but it, it, it adds comfort to people's lives when they have someone, and it doesn't have to be someone they see regularly, or just have an opportunity to share how their life's going and what they're concerned about, um, and the person they're sharing with just receives them and hears them and listens to them. Uh, and then if they have quality, concrete solutions, they can share them. But if not, they're just a listening ear. And I want because so much of life as we go, we're we're listening to respond rather than listening to understand and listening just to listen and to add support. Whether we agree with them or whether we don't agree with them, the things that they're talking about. So so often we want to to just vomit our, our opinion when nobody asks for it. And we want to, you know, share what we think when nobody asks asks us what we think. Instead of just being a listening ear that can lend strength to somebody's life and give them an outlet or a release for things that they're concerned about. And sometimes just the, the, the act of them sharing out loud what they're dealing with, the solution comes to them from them or God shares it with them or, or just it, it becomes apparent in the act of sharing it. And so you can be a help and a support to people and you don't have to really know much or, or feel like you have to solve it, but you can just be a listening ear. So I hope that helps you. Hope that encourages you folks. Be a listening ear today. Get out there, gain yards and all you do. And please take care of that mindset folks, because it matters. I love you. Peace.